throw overhand with a small ball. So your first task is to find a small soft ball if you're going to be practicing inside your home. But if you're lucky enough to get to practice outside, you can use any ball that you can find or even a stuffed animal or a bean bag or um, a ball of tin foil or a ball of paper wrapped up with tape. I don't care, you can make anything, just something that you're able to throw that, uh, that you can grasp in your hand. So as a quick review, we practice this in class. We have ready position. Ooh, that looks good. Remember to say it out loud. Ready. Next is T. It follows by putting the ball to your ear, and we say ear. Now we're gonna twist our body. We're gonna take our hand that is not holding the ball and point it at our target. And our ball is furthest away from our target. So as we twist and throw, we can go through a full body rotation. That looked great. Now run and go get your ball and we'll do it again. Got my ball. Here we go. Ready. T, ear, twist, and throw. Perfect. I'm now going to demonstrate it on the other side in case you're somebody who likes to throw with your other hand. That'll be easy. Here we go. I got my yellow ball again. We have ready position. T, ear. Remember to say it with me. Twist. What's next? Now we throw. Perfect. Let's do it one more time. Ah, I, my ball is escaping me. Thank you. So we have ready. Let me hear it loud. What's next? T. That's right. What's next? Ear. Perfect. And then twist and throw. <laughs> my ball came back. I love it. You guys keep practicing that. Ready, T, ear, twist, and throw as many times as you can. And I can't wait to come and play with you again and to see how well you have learned this skill. Thanks for being great students, great learners, and great movers. Uh, keep up the good work. Miss you. I'll see you soon. Love to all.